Hey guys, just wanted to do a thank you video for everybody. Um, during this difficult time, I have not responded to your comments, and I apologize for that, but this has just been very tough for me these last several days. And um, I've read all your comments, you know, and yeah, they're, they're very moving. Um, so this is just a thank you video to everybody for the, all the hundreds of comments and the people that have uh, um, been thinking about about us, you know, and the family going through this difficult time, you know, losing my wife of 16 years um, to cancer. So, yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, from the from the Facebook page to YouTube comments, I mean, the uh, outpouring of support has been amazing. Um, the family here has been amazing through all of this. The last six months, they've done amazing work and effort trying to help Yachty, trying to help fight this cancer, um, taking time out of their lives to do what they can. Um, you know, going from here in Iguala to Acapulco to the cancer hospital and back and bus tickets and gas and tolls and expenses and all that. I mean, the family came together in more ways than I could ever have imagined. But in the end, yeah, uh, cancer got her anyway. But, uh, yeah, this week, you know, the last, next couple of weeks are going to be tough. Um, death certificate. Yeah, I've got to get a death certificate because so i got to go home and i got to mess up my hands when I get back to the States. So i got to have evidence that my wife is no longer here. So I can go after her creditors and all that stuff. Um, boutique has been closed basically since uh, Yachty passed on. It's just locked up right now. Uh, we got to get over there and get the merchandise out. So we'll probably be doing that this week, and that's going to be tough. You know, I tried for the last two, three years to get her to close the boutique because it just wasn't doing well. Even the family saw that, but she she was adamant. She was, you know, she that was her pride and joy. She did not want to see it fail, and you know, I respect that. And it's tough as it was, you know, tough as it is, you know, you see a business that you put your heart and soul into, and it's not making it. Um, you know, only in her passing does it finally close. I mean, that's, yeah, that's tough. Eight and a half years we had our boutique, for those of you that have followed our channel. <clears throat> We've had it since July 2008, and now it has to close January 2017, eight and a half years. Yeah, that's going to be tough because it's time to move the stuff out. We've got to get, you know, we're just going to sell it on the local, they call it Trekkie Iguala, which is like a Craigslist, you know, sell it on the Internet, take pictures, uh, lower the prices, get what we can, and all the money is going to go to the family to pay them back for expenses. I'm not even going to get a single peso or a dollar or anything out of it. Um, but we got to get, that stuff out so that's going on too and uh, oh yes our land well we can't quite sell our land now because I'm not on the deed my wife has a deed to her property but I was not put on it and based on the laws here in Mexico since there is evidence that we were married um, it since we had no kids, basically, since we had no kids, then it falls half to me and half to my mother-in-law. And, I mean, that's fine, because I want to pay everybody back on what was spent, you know, by the family. So, and even, you know, people you know, the peso is like 21, 22 pesos to $1, so we're going to take a loss if I wanted to bring pesos back to the States anyway. But it's going to be a long, long drawn-out process. They're estimating a year possibly as long as two years, because it's got to go through the court system. we got to hire an attorney um, to, you know, push things through the court. 
And I was on I was on my wife about that. She had an aunt that passed away several years ago, and it caused a mess with the family for her property. Everybody was divvying for her property. And one cousin from L.A. who had a lot of money came in and swooped everything up because nobody could afford to keep paying attorneys. It was becoming a money pit. And she wound up coming in and scooping everything up. Now, for us, that's obviously not the case. I mean, everything is pretty much cut and dry. You know, who's going to get what? It's just got to go through the legal process. And that's going to take time. So I was hoping I could pay the family back selling our land. That's on hold now. So, you know, I don't know why my wife didn't put my name on the property, but, you know. It'll get worked out eventually, hopefully. So, um, that's what's upcoming while I'm here, because we got to get things moving. Because when I leave, I'm leaving the end of January. I got to go back. I got to somehow try to run a Spanish services business by myself now. And it's going to be tough because I'm going. I'll be going back to my house, full of memories of my wife for 16 years. And here I've got family to support, you know, talk to and all that. There, I don't. I mean, I just basically got my parents, you know, maybe a friend or two that's, you know, to maybe, you know, again, be like a sounding board or whatever you want to call it, uh, just to kind of vent. But it's going to be a lonely house. And, yeah, I'm probably going to need to find extra work. I don't know how the tax business is going to go the Spanish services business, but a lot to think about this year, a lot to rearrange, and I got to refocus. Um, the videos, you know, of course, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. Hope you guys are, you know, again, just be patient with me. I don't know if I'm going to make anything more today. We'll see what this week holds, but it's, it's tough now. Um, it's really tough trying to make some entertaining videos when I am very sad. Um, I'll do my best. Just bear with me. And, you know, you fans out there that have been watching for years, again, the new and old, you know, followed my channel. You know, Yachty was a huge part of my channel, and now that's going to change. The channel will stay. Yeah, I'm not going to, like, delete it or anything. Her memories are going to be here on this channel for many years to come. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to again say thank you to all you guys. You know, I haven't responded. Usually I'm good about responding to comments, but this has just been tough. It's just been real tough. You know, I just I have to think and, you know, I you know, read the comments and I just get, you know, really, you know, I just get really emotional and I just can't respond. So this is a thank you video um, to all you guys for your support, your words of encouragement. Um to help me keep going, you know, I definitely will keep making videos, it's just, you know, I gotta keep, I just gotta, you know, let time take its course and help me heal, so, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, just wanted to, you know, say thank you guys and let you know what's coming up the next week or two before I head home, and, uh, don't know when I'm coming back. I know that's going to be a big question for you guys, but the family, even the family is asking. They want me to come back sooner than later, and that's that's awesome. The family still considers me family. I mean, even some family members I haven't talked to really in because we had you know issues over the years. They came to me and said, "Look, your family. You know, what's bygones be bygones. You know, we we want you to come back. Your family, and when you come back, it helps us remember our sister." So. I will be back. I just don't know when because I got to find work. I got to unravel a financial mess when I get home. So work is priority one. And if I can get down here, you know, how, how jobs are, you know, they give you a week vacation or they give you two weeks or however they do it. But I will definitely try to get back. Um, I just don't know when. So this trip may be the last one for a while. Maybe I can get back next Christmas. That would probably be best or maybe on our anniversary you know January uh, yeah they love me to come down during the Dia de la Muerta I think that's November 1st they love for me to come down during that time but again I gotta see if I can get the time off 
So we'll see. We'll see what time, what time, you know, time will tell. And uh, if I can get down here, when I can do it and how long and all that. But I will be back. So, but yeah, thank you again. Thank you again for all the comments. This is a very, very difficult time for me. And yeah, I just got to take it day by day right now. This year is going to be tough, but I'm hoping, you know, after 2016, you know, it was a rough year anyway. A lot of people I've talked to, it was a rough year for them and rough year for us, for me especially. And I'm hoping things will start to move up. You know, we have really, you know, taken, taken a beating 2016. It's just been a crazy year. You know, from June, when we were at the Crown Plaza having a good time, to when I came home, when she discovered, oh, she might have a cyst, turned into a tumor, turned into cancer, went from stage three to stage four, operation, and to this. So, yeah. But yeah, I, I'm just rambling. I'm just kind of speaking what comes to mind here. But yeah, thank you again for all your comments, all your support, all your condolences, words of encouragement, all that. It's definitely helped me during this difficult time. So, but yeah, stay tuned. I'll get, I'll get some other videos going sometime. You know, just bear with me. I'll do my best to provide some entertainment for you while I'm still here. And then I go home and try to figure out what I'm going to make videos of there. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thank you again. And, uh, you know, again, apologize for not responding to your comments individually, but this is a thank you to everybody, to all of you guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. And until next time, adios.